how could you lose with a guy like this in charge? Unfortunately, a great backstory doesn't necessarily mean a good front story. Who is this guy that you're holding? I think it's Shearer, isn't he in charge of the Labour Party? Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah Shearer. Yeah. So, so hold up Shearer for me, David Shearer. I'm going to look really bad here. I think it's that, you David Shearer. You think it's Shearer. him? Yeah. Okay, you're holding up the co-leader of the Greens Party. That's Russell Norman. Right, OK. Yeah. David Parker. David Cumler. David. It's one of the Davids. One of the it? Davids, yeah. Who do you think the leader of the opposition is? Is that in Pone Hanawera? Who? Pone Hanawera? Yeah. Is the leader of the opposition? Uh, no. This is Winston Peters. Oh. You, don't, you don't really see a lot of them. You don't, you don't see a lot of Shearer in the press. Oh. There we are. That one there? Yeah. Okay. He's the leader. XUN man. XUN man. What's his name though? Oh. It's like. Ledger or Hedger or uh, Goss. What about his first name? Can't even think of it. What he really has to do is become vastly more articulate. I mean, this is where he really does suffer by comparison with uh, David Cunliffe, who is extremely articulate and very forceful, especially on television. Ah, Cunliffe. So you recognise his face? Yes, he's on television. Ultimate, ridiculous, I know. Yeah. Of the 11 people we asked, only this woman yeah. could yeah. tell us without prompting that David Shearer is the leader of the opposition. Yeah, he can play classical gas and he can surf, but he's got nothing to say. <laughs> Shearer ended his Waikato tour clowning on the guitar again. 